Hello friends, this video on NEET genetics is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Chromosomal disorders in humans. The name itself defines itself. Chromosomal disorders. That means some abnormal arrangement in the chromosomes. So if some disorders happen due to excess or abnormal arrangement of chromosomes, those types of disorders are called a chromosomal disorders in humans. Now, such disorders are non-heritable. Therefore, pedigree analysis would not help to trace the pattern of inheritance in this case, unlike the Mendelian disorders. So in case of Mendelian disorders, they get uh, transferred from one generation to the next. So we can actually find out the pattern of inheritance. But in case of chromosomal disorders, some change or some abnormality happens in the chromosomes. And therefore, you know, we really cannot track it with pedigree analysis or with charts. So. Now, such abnormalities again can happen either in the autosomes or in the sex chromosomes. As we all know, we have a total of 46 chromosomes out of which 44 are autosomes and the remaining two are the sex chromosomes. Right, so the sex chromosomes, they participate uh, during the fertilization. Right? So they are the haploid cells, whereas these 44 autosomes, they take care of all other traits in the body. So they do not take part in the process of reproduction. So those are the autosomes. Now, the these chromosomes, the abnormalities which we are talking about in the chromosomes, they can happen in the autosomes as well as they can happen in the sex chromosomes. So if there are abnormalities in the autosomes, such they are called autosomal abnormalities. If there are abnormalities in the sex chromosomes, they are called sex chromosomal abnormalities. So some of the examples of autosomal disorders are Down syndrome, Edward syndrome, Patau syndrome and Cat Cry syndrome. So in all of these syndrome, there is some abnormal arrangement of chromosomes on the autosomes. So the sex chromosomes do not play any role in these abnormalities. Whereas when you talk about Klinefelter syndrome, Turner syndrome, super males or super females, in all of these, there is some kind of abnormality in the sex chromosomes. So let us quickly have a look at some of these chromosomal disorders. Let's talk about the Edward syndrome. So presence of an extra chromosome number 18. So if you look at all the chromosomes, so there are a total of 46 chromosomes, as I said. So these 46 chromosomes, now as we know, chromosomes exist in pairs. So basically there are 23 pairs of chromosomes, right? And the last pair is the sex chromosome. So this, this represents sex chromosome, X, X, in case of females, X, Y for males. So just leave these two, other than these two, all of these are autosomes. So Edwards uh, syndrome is an autosomal disorder, right? So what happens here, the chromosome number 18, so all the chromosomes, they exist in pairs, two chromosomes. Only the number 18, instead of two chromosomes, there are three chromosomes. So there is an extra chromosome on the chromosome number 18. So this is an abnormality and that is why Edward symptom happens. Now Edward symptom is more commonly seen in females and most of the affected babies do not survive for more than a few months. So some of the symptoms of Edward syndrome, syndrome are retarded growth and development, retarded mental growth. So physically as well as mentally, the growth doesn't happen properly. Small sized mouth. These are some of the very common symptoms. Anyways, uh, the development is so retarded that the child doesn't even survive for more than a few months. Restricted hip joint movement. So the movement is also not proper. Now let's look at Patau syndrome. Here there is a presence of an extra chromosome number 13. So here the same thing which was there on the chromosome number 18. Now in this case it is on chromosome number 13. Now since there are three chromosomes present on number 13 that is why it is also called as trisomy 13. Tri means three. So zomi is like it is obtained from the chromosome. So that's why trisomy 13. Similarly, Edward syndrome is also called trisomy 18. So there, because there also you have three uh, chromosomes on number 18. So in this case, the symptoms are again retarded growth and development, retarded mental growth. So again, there, there is uh, mentally and physically retarded. Sloping forehead, deafness, cataract, 
and fingers deformity are some of the additional symptoms in case of Patau syndrome. Cat cry syndrome, the name is very interesting and at the same time weird. So why is it called cat cry syndrome? Because this syndrome has a symptom that the patient, that it has a characteristic cry like that of the mewing of a cat because of which it is called the cat cry syndrome. The way the child cries that resembles exactly the mewing of a cat. So that's why it is cat cry syndrome. And what happens in this syndrome? Deletion of short arm of chromosome number five. So if you look at the chromosome number five, here, now this time you do not have a trisomy, you do not have three chromosomes, but you have one chromosome whose some part has been deleted. So you see, this portion of the chromosome has been deleted. So the short arm has been deleted further and this happens on chromosome number 5 and this type this syndrome is called the cat cry syndrome and here the symptoms are small head, short stature, widely spaced eyes, congenital heart disease, mental retardation. Now in all of these syndrome whether it is Edward syndrome, cat cry syndrome or Patau syndrome, there is a mental as well as physical retardation involved. So proper growth and development doesn't take place and in most of them the patients do not even survive for a very long period of time. Now let's talk about the sex chromosomal abnormalities. The abnormalities where there, there is some abnormality in the sex chromosomes. So these are the chromosomes as I was discussing. So your sex chromosomes would be somewhere here. So if you talk about a male, so in case of a normal male, the sex chromosome would be XY. In case of a normal female, the sex chromosome would be XX. Now let's say that instead of XY, if you have excess number of X chromosomes, that is if you have XXY or instead of XX, if you have XXX or XXXX or XXXXX, then what's, what's happening? So these are all abnormalities and in these abnormalities like normal male should be XY but when you have additional X along with it then this is no more a normal male it becomes a super male that means a male with an additional chromosome there right so they are called super males similarly when these kind of conditions arises where in addition to the two X chromosomes you have extra chromosomes they do not they are no more normal females but they are super females so super males presence of an extra X chromosome that is they have X X Y as their sex chromosomes so what happens in super males like all the male specific characteristics they are present in more aggression for example these kind of people are taller than normal males they are more aggressive than normal males the amount of male uh, sex hormones which get produced is also a lot more in these kind of males excess production of male sex hormones so these are some of the characteristics which identify super males. Similarly, when you talk about super females, they have extra X chromosomes. Now the more number of extra X chromosomes that they have, the more abnormality they would have. So they have abnormal sexual development. They are also mentally retarded. Now please remember that it is not a nice thing to have these additional extra chromosomes. That's because when you have these additional chromosomes, due to presence of these extra chromosomes or these abnormalities, the first thing that gets impacted is the normal growth and development, both physically as well as mentally. So the moment these kind of abnormalities are present on the sex chromosomes, the first thing to get impacted is the sexual behavior. Like as you see here, in case of super males, the production of male sex hormones get impacted. Similarly, in case of super females, the sexual development becomes abnormal. So overall, there is a lot of abnormality. So all these are falls under the category of sex chromosomal abnormalities. So the moment we were talking about uh, chromosomal disorders, unlike the Mendelian disorders, we do not draw pedigree, we do not do pedigree analysis to see that how it gets inherited from one generation to the next. Because here the issues are with the chromosomes. So these kind of issues, they do not get inherited as it is from one generation to other. So pedigree analysis doesn't really help. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.